Hello students, so welcome back to the Inuset 25 series. Today we would be discussing the 14th topic that is about partogram. So partogram was first devised by Friedman in the year 1954. Since then it has undergone various changes and modifications and the most commonly used one nowadays is the modified WHO partogram. So what is a partogram? Partogram is basically a graphical representation that denotes all the events of labor in a single piece of paper. In the modified WHO partogram, we can basically divide it as five parts. First is the maternal biodata, followed by characteristics that is related to the fetal well-being, the progress of labor, medications and the maternal well-being. Let us see them one by one. First is the maternal biodata. This includes the name, age, the obstetric score of the patient, the date of admission, time of admission, as well as time of rupture of membranes. Next is fetal well-being. This can be remembered through the mnemonic HAM, H-A-M. H is for fetal heart rate, A is for amniotic fluid and M is for moldy. Please note that the small box represents half an hour, whereas the large box denotes one hour. The fetal heart rate is measured every 30 minutes and the normal fetal heart rate is between 110 to 160. So next is the amniotic fluid. It can be either represented by an I which means that the membranes are intact or C if the membranes have ruptured and the lyca is clear it is denoted by a C. If there is blood staining it is denoted by B. If there is meconium staining it is denoted by M. So I, C, B and M. Next is molding. So molding basically there is overlapping of the skull bones. Again the molding can be 0, 1 plus, 2 plus or 3 plus. You can remember this using the mnemonic stone S-T-O-N. S is separate, T is touching, O is overlapping and N is non-reducible. Let's see them one by one. So 0, all the sutures are separate. Next 1 plus, both the sutures are just touching each other. Whereas in 2 plus, they are touching, they are overlapping, but it is reducible. Whereas in 3 plus, it is not reducible. There is an overlapping, but it is not reducible. Next is the progress of labor. It is assessed in terms of the dilation of cervix, the descent of head, as well as the contractions of the uterus. So dilation is denoted using an X, a small cross is used to denote the dilation, whereas descent of head is marked using a small zero. So we do a repeat per vaginal examination for assessment every four hours. Please note that in the WHO modified partogram, we start plotting once the movement is four centimeter. Only at four centimeter the plotting is started. And ideally, the rate of minimum progress has to be 1 cm per hour. We have two pre-drawn lines, that is the alert line and the action line. If while we plot the progress of labor, it is not crossing the alert line. Anything that is to the left of the alert line is normal. Once the alert line is crossed, we have to reassess the patient in terms of the three P's, the power, passage and the passenger. So power basically if the contractions of the uterus are adequate, the passenger in terms that if the fetal size is normal, whether the fetal position is normal, if the head is deflexed, all these things has to be assessed. Next is the passage. There could be contracted pelvis that is basically preventing the delivery of the baby. So we have to assess in terms of that and we have to correct any problems with the power or the contractions. Either we can augment the labor by giving the patient oxytocin or we can do a rupture of membrane if the membranes are intact. So after the alert line is crossed, we have to do a reassessment and act accordingly. If the patient is in a lower setting, she can be referred at this point. Once the action line is crossed, it is important that we intervene. So once the action line is crossed, it is important that we deliver the patient. Either we can go for a vaginal delivery or through a cesarean section. So coming to the descent of the head. So the descent of the head can be represented either by an abdominal examination or by a vaginal examination. 
abdominal examination that is the fifth that is palpable either it could be five fifth palpable that is the whole of the head is palpated above the pubic symphysis you can keep all of your fingers over the head or it could be four fifth palpable three fifth or two fifth palpable or one fifth palpable by vaginal examination we can have a look at the station of the head vaginally next is the contractions the contractions can be denoted by a dotted square or a lightly shaded square or a darkly shaded square a dotted square denotes that the contractions are lasting less than 20 seconds which is mild contractions or the contractions could be lasting 20 to 40 seconds which is represented by a lined or mildly shaded square a darkly shaded square denotes a good contraction which is lasting more than 40 seconds next is the medications so the medications can be either any iv fluids or oxytocin or any medicines that the mother is receiving has to be charted next coming to the maternal parameters this includes the maternal heart rate the blood pressure the temperature any urine reports such as proteins glucose in the urine so all these constitute the various parameters that is being charted in the partogram I hope now we are clear with the partograph how we do the charting and in the next session we would be dealing about the various abnormalities that is seen along with the partograph. So please do subscribe so that you are notified when the next video comes. So until we meet next time, bye bye.